There is trouble in the island paradise. An economic crisis in Sri Lanka, which is becoming increasingly dramatic. The government is even asking airlines to stop refueling, with residents' life savings virtually disappearing into thin air. There is no food, there is no fuel, there are no medicines, critical surgeries are being cancelled, there are daily power blackouts and wide-scale protests on the streets. Police have deployed tear gas to disperse crowds of protesters. <laughs> Sri Lanka, a country known for its natural beauty, beaches, national parks and the warm smiling locals. But there's trouble in paradise as economic disaster struck Sri Lanka a few short months ago, causing chaos in the streets and shortages of essential needs. But what is the reality that the media isn't showing? Well, there's only one way to find out. Welcome to Colombo, Sri Lanka. We have been here now for a few days and today we want to show you a side of Colombo that you don't see represented in the media. So let's go to the center. We have arrived here at the famous Red Mosque of Colombo. We just jumped out of our tuk-tuk and this is the Colombo that media really don't want you to see. Bustling streets, people are doing commerce, there's plenty of shops open, plenty of food, plenty happening. Have a look. People are out and about doing their daily routine, there's plenty of deliveries going on. You can shop for pretty much anything around this area. And this mosque here, wow, the attention to detail is just simply stunning. I really wish we could go inside, but we're not really dressed appropriately right now. We're both wearing shorts because it is a very hot and humid day here in Colombo. What a massive change in climate for us. We were just in Georgia for one month, as you might have heard in our last video. But nonetheless, let's go and explore and see what Colombo has to offer us today. So we managed to walk our way down the main street here to the beautiful Khan Clock Tower. And we're currently in the area of Peta, close by to Colombo Fort, which is the railway station area where you will be, we will be also taking a train to our next destination actually tomorrow. So stay tuned. We have so much more content for you guys. But right now, we're feeling pretty hungry and we want to try out some Sri Lankan food. I believe kotu and cheese kotu was recommended to us. We also have roti on our mind to try out as well. And Sri Lankan style pancakes that go by the name of hoppers. I had a little bit of a Google search and a read through of a, some typically Sri Lankan dishes. And that's one of the main reasons why we came here to this main central area it's because we have a lot of different things that we do want to try out here in Colombo before we leave and head to our next Sri Lankan destination but nonetheless guys we're going to try and cross this street here as I said it's pretty hectic there's a lot happening so many people around we have this cool looking market here in front of us with a lot of different items for sale, clothing. So I think we're gonna go in, have a little bit of a look around. We can't, can't turn down a good market. I will never say no to a good market, yeah. That's what <laughs> I wanted to say. I'm also wondering as well, if there's a food market nearby to here, because as I said, feeling pretty hungry, but nonetheless, welcome to this market that we have no idea the name of, but we are gonna have a little bit of a look around and see what's what's happening see what's happening good things are going to happen 
loads of different selection of goods that you can buy here different hats i definitely need a new hat the hat that i'm currently wearing this san francisco hat i'm definitely not a san francisco fan uh, personally but it was a gift given to me from naomi a short while ago but uh yeah guys this market is really interesting naomi is already chatting to the locals hello how are you good <laughs> We're going to ask a question to this lovely gentleman. With everything that happened this year in Sri Lanka, with government and so on, oh. did ev did anything change for you this year no, in no, Sri Lanka? No, no. Everything the same? Everything the same. All good? All, all no. So no, it's... Uh, nev nothing is no, good? Nothing or? good. Oh no. Oh no. Why? You think it's okay for people to travel here as tourists? Uh, tourists for good. Yeah? Yes. Uh, traveling safety. Oh, okay. okay. Very safe. Okay. okay. But for locals? Locals no good. Why? All everything expensive. Yeah, Very inflation. Yeah, but the locals is, are struggling. This got worse this year, right? It got uh, all uh, this year before year. Year before as well. Two years all same. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. There is no problem. Okay. Okay. There is all come you go no petrol problems. Tourism will help uh, for sure. Okay. Okay. Great. And how's your stand doing? Is good? Okay. It's okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Great success, guys. I think we have found a random street food stand and we're going to approach and see what we can buy. We have a very varied selection of food here. <laughs> okay. Here yeah. we have two of the chicken. Two of this one, yeah. Oh. What is this? It is fish. 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 It's fish. Oh, okay. Take two of this. That's why two of the fish. So, guys, I'm going to be honest. We've no idea what we're buying, but we're going to give it a try. This is basically a street food stall that is connected to the market where we just had a chat with that lovely gentleman. And yeah, we're going to see if we can fill up our bellies with some nice Colombian. Colombian, Sri Lankan street food. This place, guys, has truly shocked us and amazed us at just how friendly, how warm, and how inviting the people are here. They're so friendly, happy, peaceful, smiling. Everybody's stopping us and stopping us in the street and asking us for selfies and stuff like that. And it's really just warmed our hearts. And the amount of support that we received as well on our very first video has simply blown us away. But guys, we just picked up some nice street food here. Are you excited to try it? Yes, super excited. I'm gonna go in <laughs> with her favorite one, the chicken one. So let's yeah. try this one. It looks first. like a samosa. Mm. No, not like a samosa. Mm. It's like a filo type of dough that is fried. It's a very thin dough. Yeah. And then inside oh. you have kind of vegetables and chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Super nice. Also not spicy. Usually everything in Sri Lanka is spicy, which we both love. <laughs> but this one is not spicy and super, super tasty. Perfect breakfast for the both of us. Oh, yes. How much did it cost for the two, by the way? Mm. Or for all the stuff? I bought two two of those chicken ones and two fried fish sticks. Yeah. And I paid 320. Oh, my God. Rupees, which is a little bit under one euro. Wow, that's incredible. Yes. Let me have a bite of this one. I'll give you guys a little bit of a first taste test as well. It is filled with some good stuff as well, and it's kind of like almost like a deep fried uh, little snack. But yeah, guys, cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. Very tasty. Mmm. No spice at all, but it's very fresh on the inside. Really nice onions. And the outside is like a crispy, deep fried taste as well. Naomi just handed me the fish stick as well. And I'm gonna give this a bite too. Wow. Mm. I don't even know how to properly describe that. It kind of almost tastes like a potato, a potato croquette filled with fish that is nicely seasoned. So it does have a little bit of a kick on this one, which I really enjoy. Do you want to try this one? Of course. You don't have to ask that tw question twice. Oh my God, I just had a little stroke. Mm. Oh. 
It's nothing like I ever tasted before. It is a little bit spicy. Obviously, you can taste the fish. I think it's curry yeah. and chili. Maybe some onions. It's really, really tasty though. And guys, we got a bag full of the stuff for less than one US dollar or one euro. Amazing. Unbelievable. What a great way to start off today. But as, sorry, I'm chewing and talking at the same time. It's very <laughs> difficult. Um, as the man before described, obviously it is very affordable for us as Central Europeans or as Western Europeans basically, but for locals it is quite expensive. So please keep that in mind when we say yes. affordable, we mean affordable for European standards, not for Sri Lankan standards. Absolutely. And as the guy said that we just spoke to here in the market, the best way that you can support local Sri Lankans is by being a tourist and injecting your money into this economy. Don't come here and live here because that will obviously drive up the prices for the locals. But if you come here, spend a little bit of money and help support these local food vendors or local market vendors. Big thumbs up. Nonetheless, guys, let's continue to explore. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. That was absolutely amazing. Let's go and continue to explore Colombo. All right, guys, so I think I might want one of these Sri Lankan jerseys here. They appear to have quite a selection, so we're, I'm going to need a large size. We came here just to check out the selection. Oh, well. Short. Oh, short sleeve, yeah, yeah. It's very hot. <laughs> Yeah, Sri Lanka, very good cricket. Yes. <laughs> you can see the island. <laughs> Which one do you, do you like this one? Oh, that's nice. Yes. It's a new T20 World Cup. Oh, wow. 2022. Oh, Amazing. Nice. It looks yes, like a perfect size. size. Yeah, 2XL. Let's 2XL. See if it would fit. Oh, your perfect size. Ah, madam, no you can check this I can side. try. This side you can check here. Not, uh, like to Your shoulders. Is <laughs> 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 guy taking my jersey? <laughs> yeah, dad, 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 it fits Perfect nicely. Size, no? Very good. Because you can remove the temperature, it's okay. Yeah. Here you go, guys. I think I gotta fix my collar, but nonetheless, like. Let's go, cricket. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. I think we'll go for this, yeah? Yes. Can I ask how much? It's not 2,500. 2,500. 3,000. Oh, 3,500. It's oh. a new one for expensive. It's really nice. Yeah, this one yeah. have size Ireland, we got <laughs> one here. Ireland? Yeah. From Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Very good Ireland. This one have another one quality, like same material, 6,000. Okay. This one is a very cheap price for you. Have long sleeve also. It's too long. long <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sweating too a lot process. already. Uh, <laughs> have another one design, 3,000. Wow. This one, this oh, that's the one with the three yeah, colors. This one, uh, design also, this one is very less price. Oh, I can try this. Ah. Oh, nice. It's a little, wow. the blue is lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks nice. Ah, thank you. How's business this year? Uh, this year is also a little bit good. A little bit but good? Yeah, the Corona is finished. Yes. <laughs> Remove this. Uh, oh. You need to open the box. <laughs> <laughs> Luke got stuck in the t-shirt. <laughs> I have a big head. Wow. I love the colors of this one. Yeah, this yeah. design is uh, last uh, tournament uh, design. Asia oh. Cup. Sri Lankan champion this design. Jersey. Oh, so Sri it Lankan means a lot. The Asia Cup. What do you think? I think I like this one better than the other one. Okay. It's okay. a little bit longer as well. Perfect. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's too Thumbs up. good. <laughs> Both good. <laughs> Both are good. This one new one. This one finished. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last, oh, not okay. last tournament. Asia Cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. A champion. Okay. Deal. 
dear. So guys, we're kind of uh, being followed around by a local gentleman. He's brought us to a stall. Yes, we are being pretty gullible. I also, I didn't want to haggle at all for the Sri Lankan jersey. I just wanted it. Um, and it's a decent enough price. It came out to like nine euro. So I went and got it. I'm gonna be wearing it in the rest of the Sri Lankan series. But well, check out this. Do you think purple or yellow? Oh, what do you think? I don't know. The yellow is very nice as well. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, try it, try it. Ah, no, no, it's okay. I don't know if it would be too warm. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure. It's large, yeah, but it's maybe too warm for long pants, no? We came out here basically with the aim of interacting with locals and we've had no problem so far doing that. As you can see, there's plenty happening here. We're in Peta Market actually, which was where we ended up the last time we were here. But we're gonna now continue walking. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, sir. And this guy is really not letting us go at all. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. We're being brought into so many different shops. Check out these bags though. It's like leather bags, plenty of different designs, handmade stitching as well. Oh good, <laughs> don't worry. Very, very beautiful stuff in here. It's almost like kind of a souvenir type shop, but we are traveling full time with no location or home. We literally have our lives inside of our backpacks so it doesn't make much sense for us to buy large souvenirs but um, this guy here this gentleman is literally just bringing us around and giving us a little bit of a tour of peta market i'm sure he more than likely um, has connections to different vendors and is bringing us in to check different things out it's very interesting though uh, oh my god that horn very, very cool. Oh, they have a Sri Lankan sticker. No, not a sticker. Oh, it's a badge. But it's a, it's a, it's a badge, up. maybe for our backpack. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yeah? That would be Should perfect. Yeah, sure. Why not? Can I have uh, just one of this for now and then maybe... If we can't buy big stuff, we will buy the smaller stuff because, as I said, we do not have a property to our name, but we do have a backpack. So guys, once again, we have found ourselves in the back of a tuk-tuk. I know by now you're probably thinking, oh my god, you're just taking these everywhere, but it is actually the most convenient way of getting around. Now, we always try and make sure that there is a meter running in the tuk-tuk. A lot of you guys said to use Uber or Pick Me as well. And that way you have like a little bit of a guarantee of a price. As you can probably see here, the meter itself is running away. Right now we're headed towards Goldface Green, which is where we were actually in the last video. But we basically just jumped into this tuk-tuk because we were being brought around into loads of different shops and we didn't really feel like spending any more money. Uh, but nonetheless, we did pick up the Sri Lankan cricket jersey and Naomi also got a nice Sri Lankan flag and this is the Buddhist flag no? That's what he said. The flag of Buddhism yeah. Yes. But um, we didn't spend much money at all there guys we just wanted to get mostly the Sri Lankan jersey and we also managed to have a little bit of food as well to keep our bellies warm while we go and interact with some locals. So now we're gonna go to Goldface Green and try and interact with some of these lovely local people as well. Okay, thank you so much. Sure. Bye bye. Now guys, the main reason why we came back here to Goldface Green was because in our last video, if you remember, if you did watch it, we came here um, and then we got kind of sidelined by a tuk-tuk driver and we ended up going to a so-called Buddha hair temple, which um, I don't know, Buddha was bald, so I have a lot of questions surrounding that <laughs> temple. <laughs> but nonetheless, we came here because we actually wanted to check out the street food vendors. 
that are lining all along here and we hopefully can strike up a nice conversation with someone here but yeah this is the whole reason why we came here in the first place and it also is looking out onto what an amazing backdrop that is the amazing ocean i'm not too sure actually which ocean that is let us know down in the comments i'm a very much an amateur when it comes to geography but yeah guys have a look this is beautiful what a beautiful place wow also uh there are those i think those are the pancakes no the hoppers the hopper pancakes Maybe. i'm not too sure they look like they could be i could be totally wrong looks like there's some roti as well but we have a very wide selection of different food to try all along here. Let's like try, try something out. Yeah? Hello. Hi. Hello. It's okay that we film YouTube for yeah. it. But um, what are the pancakes called? Is it? Ah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's the name of the pancakes? Is it Hopper or? Yeah, this. Get a bit. Oh, it's oh, like a uh, prawn cake. Yeah. Prawn cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nice. Wow. 200? Yeah. They have an amazing selection of different food here. Mostly uh, fish. 150. 150. 150 okay, each. can we have two of the, this one? Two of these, yeah. Two. Yes. Two. Thank you. That's good. It's good? Yeah. Good choice? Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> tasty, tasty. <laughs> we are going to. Uh, Ireland. Ireland. Ireland and Germany. Germany. Oh. <laughs> we won it. We won the cricket. <laughs> uh, engaged. Engaged. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nearly married. <laughs> you, you Sri Lanka? Oh. Yeah. You are from Sri Lanka, or? I yes. From uh, Ah, nice. Yes. Hello. Beautiful country. Hello. How are you? Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm here. I have the same the same jersey. It's really good. We just bought the same one. We bought the same jersey. Nice jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Sri Lanka. I'm from Ireland. Ireland. Ireland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey guys. We are making a YouTube video for Colombo, for Sri Lanka. Thank you. What is your names? Viraj. 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 Our YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, Uni Production YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are making it uh, for to show Sri Lanka just to bring tourism here, you know. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, I hit my head. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, nice. Nice meeting you. Thank you for the food. You got the food? We got the food. Nice. Amazing. So apparently it's some sort of a pancake situation. Oh my god, my pancake nearly flew away. Yeah, mine is also... <laughs> <laughs> Very aerodynamic. <laughs> aerodynamic pancake. Okay, um, so it's apparently a pancake um, with prawns inside nice. and they put a sauce over it and he was kind of ma doing his magic there behind the counter i don't know what he put on it but we're just gonna try it as always why not oh tasty this is phenomenal oh <laughs> my god fantastic perfect spice a little bit you can obviously taste the prawns a little bit spicy super nice it's perfection do you Amazing. want to try yours yeah absolutely wait you need to give me the plastic my bag. bag with my jersey inside as well the new pride yes all right guys let's give it a try oh my god 10 out of 10 straight away the spice a little bit of crunch from the fish as well it is like kind of a deep fried fish pancake Run. and there is a good bit of spice in there as well. It almost just tastes like a crunchy, spicy seafood pancake. Wow, I love this country. We made our way to another food stall. We seem to have <laughs> fresh pineapple. Is it tasty? <laughs> Pear. Thank you. Having a taste test of everything they have. This is very different. Yeah? Has a lot of little seeds. Oh. Interesting. Mm. The pineapple is very, pineapple it looks is very good. fresh, no? I want uh, like a small pack of pineapple. Pineapple, one pack and the other two. It's okay. Okay. And uh, two water? Two water bottles. Pineapple and water. The fruit tastes very different. It's like something I've never tried before. But um, 
these street food stalls all along here are very cool they all sell like a different variety of different stuff some of them have more sweet stuff some more savory and then you also have fruit drinks and where we're situated right now guys is actually directly in front of the skybridge project that we met two lovely guys and they told us that they are working on this project so that's the reason we came back here as well because we really wanted to have another look at that it seems really beautiful really interesting and yeah these food stalls are simply fantastic this is the whole reason we came here was to sample some of the local food here in colombo hello good good so we just got some water after that crab cake and some pineapple as a dessert um, I tried the pineapple beforehand. Oh my god, it's so tasty. Mm. So juicy, so sweet, it's perfect. Mm. I'm finding it very interesting that a lot of the fruit here um, kind of tastes different than what it, for example, would taste like in Europe or maybe even in, um, in Mexico, for example. Because obviously pineapples grow in Mexico, but pineapples also grow here. But they taste different. It's very, very interesting. I had a mango yesterday. And the texture was completely different and the taste was completely different, but super, super delicious. Cheers, guys. To Sri Lanka. Oh. It actually pops in your mouth. Yeah. It's really sweet. You get like a whole rush of pineapple juice. I've never, as similar to Naomi, I've never tried a pineapple like this. Amazing. Sri Lanka, we love you guys. What a first week in this amazing country, huh? We are so appreciative of everything and uh, to be honest, this experience, just this first week already has taught us so, so much. Um, we just love Sri Lanka and to be honest, this is really a place you should come to if you have the time and money to come out here. It's beautiful. And guys, keep in mind, for us right now, Sri Lanka is very inexpensive, but that is not the case for most of the locals here and the best way that you can improve that situation is by not listening to what the media is saying they're telling us not to come here to avoid here come here check it out meet and greet with the locals talk to as many people as you can come here and spend a little bit of money and then move on it's not going to empty your bank account at all and in fact you're going to have a fantastic time meet a lot of friendly smiley people and try some fantastic food along the way. I couldn't agree more. It's 100% going to widen your perspective of the world and uh, cultures and our culture and how we're different from each other, but how we have so many similarities as well. For sure. But for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys at the next location. If you can guess where we're going next, Drop it down below in the comments. But for now, bye bye. Bye. The blue is trademark. Everybody have a blue. I have one blue also. A blue and ruby, but there are semi presses also. But yeah. if you buy a blue or red, that is the very best in Sweden oh. in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Thank you. you. Tell to buy something. Bye bye. <laughs>